Welcome to Bengals Spirit Week, Who Day Thursday. Way to show your Bengals blackout or orange out pride. Sycamore Junior High. Who Day is February 10th, 2022, and welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Henning. And I'm Ava, and we're really excited to bring you Who Day's news. But first, we unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over her as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. Bengal Spirit Week is working its way to the big Super Bowl Who Day Sunday 56. Bengal fans make sure to finish this celebra celebration week strong with wearing everything Bengals tomorrow. Who day? We're take we're talking hats, scarves, shirts, jackets, shoes, socks, and everything else. Who day? A shout out to our wonderful counselors for National School Counseling Week 2022. Make sure to thank our counselors and counseling staff this week for all they do throughout the year. Thank you, Sycamore Junior High Guidance Office staff. Mrs. Morris, Mrs. Suter, Mr. Brenner, Mr. Thyman, and Mrs. Manning. Also today, the classic cartoon Tom and Jerry made its first debut appearance. Starting as a short film on this day in the year 1940, the classic showstoppers had their first adventures in a short animation called Puss Gets the Boot. Happy Cream Cheese Brownie Day. Wait, that's a thing? Yep. This treat may sound odd, but it's actually a delicacy in many places. People make it special everywhere to celebrate this sweet treat. Who would have guessed cream cheese and chocolate? Now for the fact of the day. Martin Luther King Jr., the man who delivered one of the most famous speeches in United States history, got a C in public speaking. And now for today's daily survey. First, the results for yesterday's survey. Looks like about 57% of you didn't purchase a candy gram, and 43% of you did purchase a candy gram. And don't forget to fill out today's daily survey, which is posted on Google Classroom. Let's try to get some more f people filling out those surveys. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to students JSB, Araya T, and Janice W, as well as staff member Mr. Pouncey. We wish you a great and wonderful day to celebrate. Now on to our wonderful Mr. Harris with our important activity information. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. All right, first up, International Club. You're going to meet Friday in room 214. The focus countries are China and Italy, two of my favorite food groups right there. So that works out pretty well. Remember, uh, students, on February 16th is our annual Aviator Bash after school here in the gym. If you would like to request songs for the DJ, you can do so by turning in three first-class tickets. Three first-class tickets will get you a song request, all right? A uh, song request will call, you turn your song request Ms. to Mrs. Jarvis if you eat in the cafeteria, or Mrs. Morris if you eat in the wrestling room. You gotta do that this Friday. Excuse me, my nose is just. All right, we will also be sending candy grams this Friday in the wrestling room. These are five tickets each. Make sure you know the friend's flex bell that you want that candy gram been delivered to, and we will be delivering those candy grams on Friday, February 18th during flex bell. Don't forget to sign up for track, sign up on final forms. Practices start on March 7th from 3.30 to 5 o'clock. Again, information will be sent out through final forms. Got questions? See Coach Wallace. Tennis tryouts. Tennis tryouts start on May 7th. If you're play interested in playing on the boys' tennis theme this spring, we will be having a meeting during Flex Bell tomorrow. That's tomorrow, February 11th, all right, in room 116 during Flex for boys tennis, all right? We'll give you important information at that meeting if you will attend. Boys lacrosse, if you're interested in playing boys lacrosse, you're gonna meet during Flex Bell on Tuesday, February 15th in the Media Center. Coach Harris will pass out information and everything. Make sure you're signed up on final form so you can get updates on times and locations of practices. Got questions, see me, Coach Harris in room 213. All right, women's fast pitch. There will be a short meeting this Friday during Flex 21 in the gym. All right, so if you're interested in playing fast pitch softball here at the junior high, meeting Friday, tomorrow, during Flex 21 in the gym. Coach Brown looks forward to seeing you there. 
All right, today in our continuing thing to honor Black History Month, we're going to talk about a field, uh, a person in the medical field, a pioneer in the medical field, excuse me, Dr. Charles Drew. Uh, the blood bank is something we take for granted now, but it wasn't always so. As a researcher and a surgeon, Dr. Charles Drew revolutionized the understanding of plasma, the liquid portion of blood without cells. Plasma lasts much longer than whole blood and makes it possible to be banked for longer periods of time. As the medical director of the American Red Cross National Blood Donor Service, Drew led the collection of tens of thousands of pints of blood for U.S. troops during World War II. Some historians say might, this work might have saved the world from Nazism since battlefield blood storage and transfusions didn't exist before he was asked to manage two of the largest blood banks during the war. Even so, the U.S. military ruled that the blood of African Americans would be segregated and not used on white troops, although blood has no racial characteristics. Outraged, Drew resigned from the Red Cross and returned to Howard University Medical School. Drew died in 1950 at the age of 45 in a car accident in Burlington, North Carolina in 1950. Today, according to the Red Cross, there are 15.7 million blood donations a year in the United States from 9.2 million donors, thanks to Dr. Charles Drew. All right, and tomorrow, we finally culminate the week. Wear your Bengals spirit gear tomorrow. Anything Bengals. I've seen a lot of cool Bengals stuff this week. Bring it out tomorrow in anticipation for that big Super Bowl on Sunday. That's it for me. You guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Boo day. Okay, what's for lunch today? Today for lunch we will have pancakes with eggs with chicken patties as well. Don't forget to submit a staff member in the Sydney Junior High News Group Communications Classroom. We need more nominees. Some teacher shoutouts we've received so far are Mrs. Stein, Mr. Harris, and Mr. Tanaka. Keep them coming. Okay, now for the joke of the day. Why do seagulls fly over the sea? I don't know why. Because if they flew over the bay, they'd be bagels. <laughs> Go waves! Okay, sorry that this wasn't included in my last segment yesterday. Anyways, last week for the pet guest, most of you thought that it was a crested gecko, and most of you are correct. Okay, here's the picture for this week. Let us know what you think of the Google Classroom.